Oh, <laughs> beautiful chance for a jump. Oh yeah, speed. Oh. <laughs> Woo. Hey guys, JP here from Trails and Details, and today we're gonna check out the mountain bike route Lage Vuurse. So before I checked out the Hoge Vuurse, I said I would come back to check out the Lage Vuurse. So here we are. I'm pretty excited to check it out because there's a bit more altitude meters on this one and it has a pretty high rating of about 3.8 stars right now. So without further ado, let's check it out. Okay, took me a bit to find it because I'm not familiar, but here we go. All right, let's see what the Lage Vuurse has to offer for us. I wonder if it rained last night, which is really good because then it means that the sand got hard again. So we have much more grip. Yes. Oh yeah. Gorgeous. Very flowy. Yes. Uh, yeah, Lage Fuse. Go straight. Nice, couple of roots. Ooh, all right. <laughs> Some more technical stuff. More roots, lots of roots. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Oh, <laughs> many, many roots. Liking it so far. Cross out here with horses. Oh yeah, bit of a dive here. Oh, bit of mud. Nothing about it. Yes. Bit of a climb, no problem. Yes, very nice. Oh, okay. Oh. That's a lot of loose sand. And I took a completely wrong line here. Should have stayed to the right. Let me get the good line. Yes. Ooh, slipping and sliding. Drop off. Oh my God, more loose sand. Okay, we got this. All right. Oh, <laughs> wow. A lot of drifting. Yeah. Oh yeah. Bit of a break, some wider off-road tracks. So far, pretty good. Just a lot of loose sand at certain points, which could also be fun and challenging. But so far, it's, uh, it's not too bad. Okay, here we go. The continuation of the single track. Yes. Oh, careful. Got it. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Lots of slipping and sliding here. Yes. Flowy corners. Oh, 
almost made a wrong turn there. Oh, very flowy. Oh, <laughs> beautiful chance for a jump. Apparently there was a shortcut if you want to ride a smaller loop of the Lage Fusion. Of course, we're going to do a full loop. I just got to... had to make sure I took, uh, I took the correct, correct exit. Yes, that's what I mean. Just these tiny little roots. Oh yeah. Oh, more loose sand. Gotta watch out. Okay, we're good. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is definitely more technical then the hoge fusion. A lot more like small drop-offs, lots of roots. I'm liking it so far. different routes, different line options. Oh, and once again, almost I fell. My God, really got to watch out now. All right, careful here. Oh, that's a nice descent. Yes. Oh, into a climb. Ooh, line choice. <laughs> uh, really got to be careful here with these corners. Drop off. Oh, <laughs> was the other way. It was here. Uh, Ooh, that almost went wrong. We got it. <sighs> oh my god, <laughs> did not see that one coming. That was nice though. Very flowy though, <laughs> very, very flowy. Uh, it's a lot of opportunity to maintain your speed. But the climbs are also not that bad. <laughs> oh yeah, if you break holes, we're good. Crossing for the horses. There we go. Ooh, jump. <laughs> oh, nice descent here. Oh, loose sand. Another section done. Right, this part of the single track. Oh yeah, sorry, couldn't resist. Is <laughs> shared with the Hoge uh, Fuse that we rode. So now we gotta, we gotta look out. Okay. It's 
make sure that we don't go at the route Hogevuurse. It's very simple. Hogevuurse is red, Lagevuurse is green. Then we should be fine. Yes! That was fast! Alright, <laughs> that was the downhill section. Look, here's the start. Oh, yes! <laughs> that was pretty awesome. Alright guys, and that was it for a mountain bike route, Lagevuurse. Now I gotta correct myself because I thought the Lagevuurse would have more altitude meters than the Hogevuurse. And that uh, kind of a climb and that descent is actually shared with the Hogevuurse. <laughs> so you, whether you do the Hoge or the Lagevuurse, you're gonna get that climb and that descent, which uh, is really cool. So I honestly, I like this route a little bit more than, uh, than the Hogevuurse. And that's because this is a bit more technical features. It's got a lot more routes, more drop-offs and more opportunities to uh, have some mini jumps here and there, which is really nice. So yeah, I think this is a really good cross country route. And if you have the stamina, you can combine the Laag and the Hogevuurse. They're both really great routes. The only problem right now, of course, with the Lagevuurse is that there's a lot of loose sand. And well, that's, again, I said it in the Hogevuurse as well. It's kind of a dry period right now in the Netherlands. It did rain yesterday a little bit, which is good because you can see the, 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 the sand was a little bit harder. But, you know, if it's a long dry period, then, you know, you're going to have a lot of loose sand, which kind of interrupted the flow here and there. But overall, the track is still pretty darn good, apart from a few pieces. But definitely a great route, good technical features. Like I said, if you're looking for a bit more technical stuff, take the lager one, not the hoge one. But overall, a great cross-country route, and I definitely recommend you guys to try it out. So, there you go. That is it for this video. As always, I want to thank you for watching. I'm JP, and I'll see you in the next video.